Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. I'm really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, Zone 6. Well, today I wanted to share with you some tips and ideas on how you can grow Athena musk melon cantaloupe transplants in your vegetable garden. So thanks for joining me today. Follow me along and I'm going to show you where I'm going to be planting these. So let's head down here and we'll take a left at the end of the aisle. And we're going to be planting these cantaloupe in this four foot by eight foot section. These total length of these beds are 32 feet long. And I have one, each one divided into four sections. And so I already have some cantaloupe or watermelon that I planted here. Sangria watermelon. And then I'm going to be planting these cantaloupe right here in this bed here. So I always use here my garden fork. And you just want to make sure before you plant these cantaloupe that your soil is nice and loose. So you just want to make sure you work through your bed. And that you, your soil is nice and loose and friable. You should really be able to just stick your hand, you know, down in it and dig just like that. And so that's how nice you want, nice and loose, so those roots can spread out far and wide. And so just work this fork through your soil and loosen it up. So planting these in the garden is something very easy to do. But before we get started, let's read you know, with the information on this tag, it's often helpful information. And so, the variety here is Athena. It's a musk melon cantaloupe. It says it matures in 95 days and the fruit size is 5 to 7 pounds. It says it produces sweet, juicy, oval shaped melons with a small seed cavity. And, uh, you know, spacing can be 4 to 6 feet apart. And you want to make sure you have nice organic rich soil and keep well water. And I'll be growing or planting these in my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil. And so in front of me I have those two other watermelon plants. And so I'm going to be planting two more of these in the same bed. And so you know anytime you're out buying market packs you want to just make sure they're not root bound. It never hurts to pull the plant out of the pack and take a look at it. And so I'm simply just going to take my hand and dig a hole and, and put it in there. And then just press it down lightly with your four fingers. And then give it a, a nice watering. And then I'm going to plant one more over here. and then give that a nice watering. And then I'm also going to cover these with some of my fence sections that are about four foot by four foot, maybe some are a little bit larger, uh, just to keep the air off of these plants until they, you know, start getting their feet off the ground and start growing. But uh, anyhow, you know, we just love our melons and, uh, you know, the watermelons and cantaloupe, they're just so nice and juicy. And you know, so, you know, you, you spend, a, you don't spend a whole lot for these transplants or even if you, you can direct sow. I did direct sow some cantaloupe and watermelon also in some other areas so that way they won't come in, come in all at one time. You want some vegetables, you want to plant intervals or succession planting. And so, uh, yeah, we're just really looking forward to having our cantaloupe and, and uh, the watermelon in a, in a couple months. So anyhow, let me encourage you to think about growing cantaloupe in your garden. Something very easy to do. I don't really have any pests that, that bother them. And, uh, you know, sometimes I have to worry about a groundhog, you know. But I have one of those have a heart 
cages that I sometimes have to catch them in and, and, and so on. But uh, anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about planting these uh, in your garden, feel free to leave those, your comments in the section below. And so I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Thank you.